beautiful downtown McMinnville, Tennessee. <laughs> if y'all happen to be down underground in the cave listening to bluegrass music, you know, let me hear it from you, right? First and foremost, I want to thank all of you for being here today. We've uh, been looking forward to it uh, since the last time we were here. And uh, I was talking to Larry earlier today before the show started. And uh, he asked what I thought about the venue here. And I said it has to be the most unique place that uh, in the 20, 25 years that we've been a band that we've ever played. And uh, I think that that, uh, that says... Uh, a lot for us, we play a lot of different venues all over the country. Uh, but also for you guys, I mean, uh, how many of you have never, never been here before? Well, guys, I can get the old jokes out. <laughs> well, we'll tell you a little bit more about uh, everybody on the stage. What, the, what they do, and of course you can, you can hear what they do. Uh, some of the finest musicians uh, in the country up here on the stage right now, in my opinion. Uh, let me clarify, I wasn't talking about myself, I was talking about these other guys. <laughs> but uh, really, uh, we're, we're so excited to be here today and uh, perform for you, and I uh, hope you uh, uh, like something that we have prepared for you. And uh, that you leave here with a smile on your face and a great memory to look back on. Um, and, uh, you know, a CD wouldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> um, I'd like to do a song for you now. How many of you listen to Bluegrass, uh, local Bluegrass radio stations or Sirius XM, Bluegrass Junction? Y'all listen to that? <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, we have a a new single out that's uh, from our upcoming CD to uh, do for release sometime this summer. Uh, we don't have a release date as of yet, but uh, we'll let you know when that is, uh, just ASAP. But we do have uh, the first single from that uh, CD, upcoming CD. And it went out to radio, uh, I guess it was last week. Was it last week or week before? Week before. Week before. Time flies when you have fun. Amen. But, uh, this was a, it's a great uh, up-tempo, three-quarter uh, time signature bluegrass song. And, and it's uh, written by Kyle Burnett, a very young writer in our business. But he's got the essence uh, of a much older person, a songwriter. Uh, so I was really impressed with his uh, style the first time uh, he demoed something to us uh, you know, about two and a half years ago. But uh, he wrote this song, and it's really hard. I, I want to give him credit because it's hard to write a song about uh, some of the most well-known bluegrass themes uh, and make it sound fresh and new. Uh, you know, like moonshine, you know, guns, killing, typical bluegrass themes. But he did, and he did a great job with it, and so that's why we decided to make this first single off of the uh, upcoming CD. We hope you enjoyed. You guys ready? I think so. All right, let's, let's, let's give it a shot. It's called Brown County Red.
And with his gavel and gown, said it's the end of the line. In the eyes of this court, you have lived by the sword, by the sword, you're going to die. They'll bury me underneath that old tree, so please call these words in the trunk. I'll never more kill for an old liquor still. Here lies the Brown County drum. I can't tell it's not till they turn out the line. I don't know the day or the hour. They lock me up well in the Brown County jail. And I'm going to hang till I'm dead. Cause I painted Brown County red. I can't tell it's not till they turn out the line. I don't know. I'm